Hello, my name is Steve. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Can I have your name and your date of birth, please? Ben Just, February 10th, 1925. Nice to meet you, Ben. Ben, today we're just going to start by measuring your pulse. If you can go ahead and relax your arm against your waist there, and uh, I will go ahead and start my timer. And good. All right, great. Thanks, Ben. It's important to wash your hands before measuring uh, for respiration. I had my patient sitting up, so to allow for maximum expansion of the lungs while measuring, that's important. Um, we tell the patient that we're measuring for pulse, and we do this so the patient doesn't voluntarily change their breathing patterns. Um, I also had my patient put her hand on her stomach, and we do this is because it's an effective way to feel the respiration, feel the breathing patterns. So we measure the respirations for 30 seconds, and we then multiply that by two to get a minute of respiration. My patient had nine respirations per, per the 30 seconds, which equals 18 respirations per minute, which puts her in the typical range. When measuring for respiration, we are measuring the rate, the depth, the rhythm, and the character of the respirations.